Hey everyone, so today we're going to talk about the 8012 Munson Ranger. Yep, that's right. I actually like the Munson Ranger so much that I went back and got the 8012. Right now, I'm wearing the 8011 Munson Ranger in the white ash. I'm trying to break that one in. This is uh, day four uh, wearing them. And I picked these up because the boot grew on me. It's super comfortable, it's stylish and I really like it. So uh, let's take a closer look. Okay, so here we have the Red Wing 8012 Munson Ranger in Burgundy. So if you've seen my video for the 8011, this may be somewhat of a repeat with the details I'm going to go, uh, go with explaining the boot. So here we go. So the shoe is named after Edward Munson, he was commissioned to design the perfect last for a boot and it was adopted by the American Army and then Red Wing Shoes used the Munson last uh, for the soldier boots and then adopted them for their work boot line entered the Munson Ranger. The Munson Ranger was originally released exclusively in Japan and they loved it and then they released uh, in Europe as well and it had great fanfare in Europe and I'm so glad that I'm able to get my hands on the Munson Ranger. So when I went in and I bought the uh, White Ash, they had both of these, they had the 8011 and the 8012 and I couldn't decide which one I wanted so I went with the uh, White Ash first and the guys at Red Wing said that they would hold on to the um, Burgundies for me. They said they'll be there. They said if you want them, come back for them. But uh, they weren't in, in any rush to sell them. And they had both in my size. So I kept thinking about it. And as, as I wore the 8011s more and more, I found them just to be very comfortable. And the break in, zero, there's nothing. You know, usually I feel like a pinch on this, but there was nothing for the break in. So I thought, I'm gonna go back and get the burgundy ones because I like them, I couldn't decide and if they're there, great. If not, then oh well, but luckily they had them and um, here they are in my hand. So the boot uh, features the nitrile cork um, sole. It has the oil tan leather, which is, this is a really nice leather. And of course we have, uh, this, this shoe features a burgundy leather color not featured on any other Red Wing Heritage boot. So, you know, that there's the um, Oxblood Iron Ranger that's out there, but this is different than any other color out there. So, that's a plus. Eee. Okay, so, of course, triple stitch! So, we have the toe cap, which gives the Munson its distinct characteristic. And eyelets, speed hooks, Laces just like the 8011s. Um, I'll let you look at the natural cork sole. Having these on is, uh, they look really good. And you'll see when I do the on feet, how I pair them. I can't wait to break these in. Because I've seen a couple of images on Instagram and, and on the internet of what these look like broken in and um, it's pretty amazing. So let me show you the other boot, the inside of the other boot. We have the leather insole, let's get some light in here, leather insole. And you can see the inside of this burgundy. You know what would be nice if Red Wing made a rough out in burgundy if they did a iron ranger and either rough out ox blood or rough out burgundy that would be really nice red wing think about it throwing it out there i'm sure some folks would uh enjoy that but here you go here's the inside of the uh, the boot with the leather insole fully leather throughout it's a really really nice boot So yeah, here they are, 8012 Munson Ranger. Okay, so let's do the on feet. 
So I broke out the faux fur for the Munson Ranger because that burgundy is so rich. <laughs> I just thought that would look pretty good. Um, I'm wearing a I'm wearing a navy chino from Scotch and Soda. It's a uh, deep navy. It looks uh, quite dark, almost the black, but they are navy, and I thought that looked really well with those. And then of course uh, we do our denim salvage denim with the uh, Munson Ranger. It kind of dresses it down because you can I feel dress these uh, Munson Rangers up because of that leather, the oil tan leather. It's really nice, and um, you can put on a, a nice wool trouser and it looks great or dress them down with the uh, denim and looks equally uh as as fashionable but um that burgundy looks really good with the uh blue salvage denim and then i tried to do with like um, a black denim just to see how that would look um because i feel like burgundy's a good a good mix you know you can go light you can go dark you can even do a khaki colored chino and i think it it could work um as long as it were um a good quality uh chino versus just like a broken in uh chino but i think the the black denim looks pretty sharp with that uh with this boot and uh this color i i find just to be really really nice um i've always liked the oxblood iron ranger uh, i've never i've come close to purchasing it um i when i went in once i'm <clears throat> they didn't have my size so i ended up going with the briar blacksmith um so i've always kind of admired the that this color and this burgundy really pops and um yeah i i gonna have fun breaking this boot in because i know as it breaks in it's going to get more detail and i think i'm going to try something um later on in, uh, in a video once i have like a good solid month of wear on these and some good creases um with the uh with this color but i have to tell you the munson last is extremely comfortable there's no exaggeration i wore um uh, I wore in three days in a row. I initially put in some insoles and then I took the insoles out and just broke the boot in. And um, I wore a wool sock initially and then I did a cotton sock uh, just to like get that leather to in the, in the inside of the boot to, to soften. Um, but I do now recommend these uh, um, Munson Ranger.